So you have um, normally on the weekend morning show we have like furry, pleasant uh -huh. dogs and cats <laughs> that we're bringing people. And what you can do you have here? <laughs> for animals without fur. This is a shingleback <laughs> skink, an Australian skink, Ooh. and he'll be one of the many animals who'll be there on Grandparents' Day this Sunday at the Denver Zoo. How do you pronounce oh. it? An Australian sh sh what do you skink. call it? Skink. Skink. Yeah. Austin. Okay. Australian All right. Skink. Yeah. And you see he's sort of sticking his tongue out a little bit, which might tell another animal that bright colors suggest I might be venomous. Oh. Yeah. oh. But he's not venomous, right? He's not. He's, not. he's, he's mimicking he might be. <laughs> oh, you can always to... tell a venomous animal. If it's venomous, I'm not holding it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the way we can tell I think it that's today. a good rule to have. Peter, what is your but background? It's, well, I've been with uh, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom since yeah. 1985. Mm -hmm. and still the spokesman for the company. And the tie-in now is that we're sort of going back to the history of Mutual of Omaha bringing wildlife into people's living rooms on Sunday afternoons, <laughs> carrying that on to this Sunday at the Denver Zoo. So oh, we're really looking fun. forward to meeting people who show up and come out and visit there. Okay, I'll, and I'll can honest. they pet the skink? They're uh, not petting, but they can see him up close and personal. Okay. What he's liking right now is sort of the warmth of my hands. <laughs> yeah. he, for, he, as far as he Ooh. knows, he could be laying on a nice hot Ooh. rock warming his yeah. body. Is he got a hard <laughs> shell on him or? You can feel no, it. No, that's it, okay. It, it's sort of his, that's all right. It's sort of his, his, <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Of, it is part of his protection, these skingles. Okay. Shingles. All right, I'll touch it. And if you, you can look do it, I'm afraid. Oh, it end, is hard. It, it feels like an acorn. Oh. It does, it does exactly like an acorn. Doesn't it? Yeah. And it looks like he has a head on both hands, which would also um, confuse a predator. Oh, look right here. He's starting to shed. Oh. See this oh, that's shed? Right here? That's normal? So this so is a defensive it. mechanism then. That's part of his protection. Oh. Uh huh. And then he, about every 40 days, he'll have a nice, clean, new set of skin. <gasps> wow. That's so cool. Do you, are reptiles nice? your favorite? What kind of animals do you like working with the I, most? I like them all. Yeah. I've yeah. worked with so many my entire life, and I think the important thing is we let people see them up close and pers personal, yeah. eliminate some fear, appreciate the fact that some species are making a comeback to the wild, and then encourage them to do something locally to help and nationally and hopefully affect public attitude about conservation. I Interesting. Love that. And right. you'll be out at the Denver Zoo tomorrow, starting tomorrow. at 10 a.m.? That's right. We'll be Sounds there. Good. Looking forward right. to seeing everybody then. Oh, fantastic. 10, bring 10 the grandparents out. out. What, bring the, Austra the Australian skink. 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 That's where That's you can right. check. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Shingle Thank you so skink. much for coming in with the skink.